Hello guys, Adam here. Today some video for guys who are not so familiar with the GCC AVR uh, environment. So the one that I'm using uh, to program the chips in a C language. So for those guys who are more familiar to Arduino environment, I have prepared some version of the car key jammer that is uh, composed of DigiSpark unit with uh, FS1000A. So basically there are two versions of uh, FS1000A. So first one I have, have here is uh, the one that is tuned to 315 MHz frequency. That is the one that is used in the US to open, to unlock car doors. It should have two coils, but one is here and the second one is uh, is surface mounted here somewhere. It's probably here. And the second version of this FS1000A is the one, the most popular one that is tuned to 433 MHz. It also has in newest revisions SMD mounted coil and it has basically four pins so antenna should be connected here the data pin which will be connected to the Arduino the DigiSpark unit the VCC the 5 volt power and the GND which is basically 0 volt line and uh, you also asked me about the antenna, so I have one soldered here directly to the board. But uh, you may do it like this. You may solder the pin here and then use some cable to connect some wire to it. Okay, what you also need uh, is uh, you need the DigiSpark. There are some issues sometimes with this unit because uh, it is uh, based on RC, so resistor capacitor um, clock, and it sometimes it uh, tends to desynchronize, and sometimes there are some problems with programming this. So, this is very cheap, it costs something like two dollars, and uh, the FS1000A this also costs something like two dollars so basically five dollars that would be sufficient for you you also need some color wires with the pin connectors and uh, you need a 5 volt USB power bank to power this device and what what to do, how do we connect these two devices, so first of all power lines from here these two they go to power pins here and the data pin here goes to goes to port over here so this is uh, I believe port number 2 the PB2 ok and in a minute I will show you how to program this device and where to find the file on my github page and how to program this to serve as a car key jammer Ok, now on the PC you have to go to my GitHub page and uh, copy the INO, Arduino sketch. So it is located on this page. And then you have to go to the directory of the repository named Jammer. And then here you have a Jammer INO file. Which we will copy paste from this 
site to the Arduino environment. So let's copy and now let's go to the local folder that you have uh, your Arduino unpacked. In my case it is the one. Now we launch it. Yes, we allow it to contact with internet and then and then let's make it bigger a bit so you could see what are the informations here and then I will delete this one and copy paste uh, the f content of the inno file from my page so as you can see it is the one so if you want to have it, uh, this FS1000A connected to different pin, then you have to modify this value. As well as you want to, if you want to change the waveform shape, then you may want to play with these settings here. But let's leave it like it is, and then we'll start to upload to the DigiSpark unit over USB. So now upload. Yeah, we have to name it somehow. Let's name it Jammer. Then, as you can see, it compiles the data. And then it waits until I connect the Arduino, which is now connected. OK, so that's all. And now let's see how it works. Maybe I will show you this uh, on my smartphone that would be easier okay okay guys so now we have uh, our fs 1000 a unit connected to the digispark and uh, to the usb charger and now i will use my mobile phone to show you what are the signals that are generated by this so this is a 433 version with antenna mount and now let's start the application Okay, as you can see, there are some signals here, but it is not originated from this one. So let me make it bigger a bit. I think uh, I live in an area where there is something that is sending some data over this frequency. This is 100, this 433.92 or 3 or something like this. Now let's uh, let's turn on. Yeah, I have also this one connected, so this is a LTL USB dongle connected to the mobile phone to show you what is received. Now I will switch this one on and it boots up in several seconds. As you can see the LED is on. Yeah. So as you can see I have this signal now jumped by the signal uh, on the frequency 434, which is nearby. So this is how it works. So it generates uh, square waves with different uh, pulses to have uh, the, the frequency jumped as much as possible. Okay, now let's switch this one off. And we can still hear the signal on this frequency. Okay, let's uh, now tune to the US frequency, which is... Uh, 315 megahertz as you can see it is clear there's no signal here now I will uh, connect other version of FS1000 yeah let me show you the one with the 315 so generator on board and now let's switch this one on but please notice that there's no antenna here connected so the signal will be very weak it boots up yeah so it is also shifted 
we can hear it but we can't see it now yeah it is here so as you can see it is not exact frequency of of uh, 315 but it is because of this unit of this soul generator it has some tolerance you may want to try with different bots to tune to most accurate frequency you wish okay that's all for now for this little jamming device with uh, DigiSpark unit and FS 1000A please note that it may be illegal to jam this frequency on some countries so you do it on your own risk and if you like this little tutorial please leave me a like and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye